Colin and Justin are back with some pictures of projects that you guys have done out in the country. And I mean, these uh, transformations are pretty extreme. I love seeing your before and afters. Yes. Hey, Let's take you. a look at the first room. It's a sunroom, so this is the before. I was so confused about that floor. <laughs> like, why green? Who knows? I mean, who knows the wisdom of any of our clients as they kind of put together their, their projects. Now, this particular sunroom was in a state of virtual devastation. The elements yeah. had been in, the critters had been in. And for me, it was the very polar opposite of what I might want to find in the kind of country application. However, yeah. when we shake our magic wands, Ms. Moore, we can <laughs> apply a little bit of rustic sensibility wow. to everything. Now, that is a really, really simple transformation. We got rid of the painted floor, previously painted yes. green, the concrete, and we added a lumber floor. We added some really fantastic windows by a great company called Sunspace that roll her up and roll her down. They've got bug screens. Oh. They're actually a soft plastic, so they're pliable. You can literally punch that plastic and it won't nice. break. It's, it's almost like a really thick, thick rubber. Uh -huh. Wood in the ceiling, mm -hmm. gray, and when you're using lots of gray and lots of wood, it's good to add another color for your eye to go. Okay, right. so your eye can travel. So a really sunny yellow. So even on the on the grey days, it's still really vibrant in there. Beautiful, because you know what? It's your it's your home away from home. It is. There it should is. be some lightness and some there fun should. happening some, there. there should. Okay, take a look at this living room before. Um, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. No, I mean it's, it's just. It's, well, there's no furniture in there. Why, well, I think there's something wrong with there's it. There's that. Well, but it's a little beige. But in terms of decor, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's just me. Isn't it? Mm. Delusions of blandure. You know, and how many times do we move into a space like that and we think, yeah. okay, what are we going to do with this? So in this particular space, we use soft furnishings to transform it. And if you take a look at the after, you'll see that it's totally bold, you know, by actually using a great stripe on the floor, you know, it gives us a really graphic pattern to build on. And then using some colour in the two chairs, a beautiful grey sofa, and then picking up on that dominant colour in the smaller cushions just tells a bit of a colour story, you know. Yes. And I think if you're out of the city, you're escaping, you want to bring some natural elements in there, you know, so I love the little log tables that sit there in the center, yeah. you know, so all the personality comes from the pieces that are put in there, you know, so if you're in rented accommodation, you could do this kind of look as well, you because when you move away, you just take it all with you. You take it with you, nothing wrong with that. Okay, uh, this bedroom before, you'll look at it and you'll say, that's definitely a before. Yeah, that to me looks like a correctional facility where somebody very bad would be locked away from the world to save the rest of the world. Either that or a maximum security twilight home. Okay? <laughs> so we totally banished everything. Again, we do this trick and we play it lots of the time. We do white drywall. Beautiful. Okay. We do white drywall, we do a wooden ceiling, yeah. and we do a wooden floor. And then sometimes we'll find something really gorgeous. For example, yes. the mirror behind the bed. So rather than just buy one yeah. and install one, we did what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Yes. Now that little cluster, they're almost like scales of some really exotic fish. Mm -hmm. And they swim around and dance there. Barn board doors at the back, another big Colin and Justin staple. Yep. In every rustic project, whether it's a cottage, a cabin, a, a beach vacation home, wherever, that's the thing that we do. And again, you're seeing that lovely filtration of the, 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 the little yellow colour pop coming in there too. Wooden bed frame, just all <laughs> cool, really low key. There's nothing there to make you feel in any way shaky or uncomfortable. It's all yeah. about maxing up the comfort factor. Totally, and it's still like it still reads cottage. It you does. can do this. You it can does. do this in a city home, you can but yeah. do that. there's something about it that still reads it cottage. Does. Do it. Uh, one more before. Mm. Take a look at this um, ceiling. So you're seeing some of the the, yeah. the roof here. This is a major transformation. Look at what you did with this space. It is now a bedroom. Oh, it is. That's beautiful. The big takeaway with this is the position of the bed. You know, if you're in a room that's got sloping ceilings, yes. you know, then automatically you think, okay, where are we going to put the bed? We actually had a custom headboard made for the bed. Yeah. So suddenly we have this huge upholstered wall, if you like, yeah. where we can then put the bed against that. And we put the two bedside tables in front of that upholstered wall as well because it just gives us a square line to then yes. build on, you know. And with that look, that's one of those looks where it's about linen, then adding some more linen. You know, the paint on the ceiling is linen the walls are linen as well mm -hmm. and then just making it a total feast for the finger great throws great cushions on there you know and not being afraid to punctuate it with a bold pattern on the drapes and on the cushions did you Beautiful. see a feast for the finger a touchy feely oh, feast for the finger oh. listen great job guys